hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from dog in Ezai, and it's titled you won't believe what chuck schumer said you guys i'm super excited as always if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what dog in Ezai has for us in this video I have good news, and it's not that Chuck Schumer is trying to destroy the country with a new Senate order bill of his creation. It's that it's probably not likely to pass. Given any Republican that touches this thing will instantly get political aids. He's in trouble. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. Even as we check in on the southern border, Starring Count Chocula himself, Chuck Schumer. But with the super sweet new serial, Count Chocula. For years, our Republican colleagues have insisted that the only real-term solution to fixing the southern border was for Congress to pass legislation. Oh no, the Republicans never said it was up to Congress. What we really said was that Biden needed to remove all the impediments he put together with presidential orders to open up the border. Yeah. All the problems he did and uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, they would not enforce the laws that we already had on the books to protect our southern border. It doesn't require an act from Chuck Schumer. So he's setting up this straw man, which is ridiculous. And that's why we're here to make fun of him and tear it down. We Democrats agree, Congress must act. Remember Reagan who said like, you know, the, the, the scariest words you could ever hear is we're from the government and we're here to help. This is one of those times. Do not let Democrats help with that border. It will not go mm -hmm. well. We need to fix the border and reform immigration to make it fairer and more humane. Sure. Why does it have to be made fairer and more I humane? Wonder. Shouldn't it be made to stop? illegal exactly. immigration why is that not on the table this week republicans will have an opportunity to join us in taking action a few month, moments ago i filed cloture on the motion to proceed to the bipartisan border act the same bill negotiated three months ago by the bipartisan group of senators murphy cinema and langford the senate will vote on this bipartisan border bill on thursday last night the president called both leader mcconnell and speaker johnson and urge them to go forward with our bill. Yeah, McConnell and Johnson do not go forward with this bill. Remember, the last bill had uh, 5,000 illegals allowed to come over a day mm -hmm. before uh, any kind of um, stop gap. They allowed 5,000 illegals to come over a day before any kind of stop gap kicked hmm. in to prevent them from coming over. It allowed 5,000 thousand a day was an, accept an acceptable number of illegals in the last wow. bill this one will be worse all those who say we need to act on the border will get a chance this week to show they're serious about fixing the problem unlike hr2 the bipartisan border act was written explicitly to win support from both parties with input significant input from both sides the border act is an exercise in legislating hr2 is not Wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? I believe by this time, the government should be taking measures in order to control the influx of the illegal immigrants coming from the southern border or even how to totally eradicate it. I can't even imagine 5,000 illegal migrants entering into America every single day because what comes to my mind is where exactly are they pitching is there available housing for these illegal immigrants but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below i'm really having fun with this particular one and let's wrap this video up you guys any any republican that votes for this needs to be uh targeted for defunding defund any republican that touches this thing when Republicans pushed HR2, it couldn't even get a single Democratic vote here in the Senate, much less all Senate Republicans for that matter. That was not a serious bill, but what we're voting on this week is serious. It is the same bipartisan bill both sides negotiated for months last winter. It's the same bill endorsed by the National Border Patrol Council, very conservative group, by the Chamber of Commerce, and by the very conservative Wall Street Journal editorial page. Is there a Republican in the world that's falling for this stuff? Is the Wall Street Journal's editorial page <laughs> conservative? 
I, what does the gateway pundit think of it? That's Me what too. I want to know. By any objective measure, it is strong and realistic, and most importantly, a bipartisan proposal. If our bipartisan bill was good enough to win the support of the union that represents border agents, why isn't it good enough for Senate Republicans? Are Senate Republicans say they say saying they know better than our agents patrolling the border? I don't know who knows better than what, but all of us know better than this guy. If you've ever watched on TV, the open borders pouring people over. I only know this bill will hey. not stop that. So yes, we're bigger experts than anyone who counters that opinion of stopping the hemorrhaging at America's southern border. I hope that's not true. I hope our Republican colleagues are ready to join us. I will be clear, we don't expect every Democrat or every Republican to come out in favor of this bill. That's why, as I have said before, the only way to pass this bill or any border bill is with broad bipartisan support. No, be the bad guy. Say no. I don't care how many it is. It's like, we can't bury this bill fast enough. And you guys got to know what they're trying to pull. They're... Any Democrat that goes for this bill was bought and paid for by some foreign entity because no American mm. patriot would go for this yeah. bill. They're up to something. If you go by what Republicans said over the last few months, you'd think they'd leap at an opportunity like the one we have right now. In the words of Speaker Johnson, the time to act on the border is yesterday. I, I don't think this is what Speaker Johnson meant by working on the border, is by signing this Democrat open amnesty bill. We should not let this moment pass. Border legislation is just about the hardest thing Congress ever wrestles with. Bipartisan border bills are rare opportunities here in Congress. It won't fix the border without Biden reversing already what he did to open the border. Alejandro Mayorkas and Biden could solve this thing yeah, tomorrow if they wanted true. to solve the border crisis. They don't want to solve the border crisis because they want to manufacture illegal oh. voters. That's their agenda. That's precisely wow. why we have it in front of us this week. I urge everyone not to let the politics get in the way. Oh, yeah. This is the one good part of politics getting in the way. May all the Republicans just turn their back on it. Play all the political games you need to do to filibuster, to delay this thing, to undermine this thing. And we'll mock it right here in exile. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Why, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Doug in SI has finally hit the nail on the head when he said the agenda for this open border is to use these illegal migrants as illegal voters. It's beginning to make sense at the end of the day because the influence of these illegal migrants in the southern border is becoming alarming and nothing is being done by the government let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and what are your thoughts on this bill do you think that this bill is going to solve the problem that if southern border is facing right now leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys